Welcome to this tutorial video which is around the basic chart functions of Patterns Keeper, an Android app designed for cross stitches. So today we're actually going to look at how we're going to use our search functions and mark off our chart. So let's start by selecting the chart we want to work with. So we will go into this uh, Sake Dragon by Pain Free Crafts. So as you can see, as we enter the chart, we haven't done any stitching yet, so it's a nice clean chart for us to work with. On the top, in the middle, you can see there are three buttons. The first button is for moving your chart. So I can scroll the chart around to where I need to be to do my work. And I can also zoom in and zoom out uh, on, a, on your touch screen, that will be a pinch to zoom in and out. So you use two fingers, move them in and out. The next button is for your search. So <clears throat> when you are working on symbol, we can highlight that symbol that you're working on. So there are two ways to do this. The way that I commonly use is just to select that symbol in the chart itself and it will highlight all the instances, in this case, of the P in the chart for me to use. You can also see it's been highlighted in the floss list. And in this case, uh, it's using DMC and it gives you the DMC number um, correspondingly. So we know this is DMC 640 and these are all the places that I need to actually stitch it. I can also do the search by selecting directly from the floss list here. So um, I think I've got nines on. No, I haven't got nines on the screen. Let me find. Yep, there's A's. So by selecting A's uh, from the floss list, I can then see them highlighted in the chart. I can use my move symbol and move around and see them all. I can zoom out to get the bigger picture of where they are. Let's zoom back in so that we can uh, do some more. As you can see, when you zoom out, after a while, the symbols disappear. Um, it would be too difficult to see otherwise. So what I can do is I can actually minimize the floss list as well, so I'll get a bit more space on the screen. And as you can see across the top, uh, I still get the color so that I can validate that I'm actually picking up the right colour for my floss, the symbol, the floss number, and the number of stitches that are remaining. So I haven't done any stitches yet, so there are 3,578 stitches to go. So to mark off my stitching, I then go to the third marker icon. This allows me to literally select the symbols and mark them as done. Now, if I've searched for a symbol, I can really easily just literally scrub the screen and it will only select the search symbol and these are the symbols that i'm going to mark off as stitched so once i've selected one or more of my stitches that i want to mark as done i come down to the bottom and i can tick uh click the tick box or if i actually have selected them in error and i, I actually meant to move and i didn't move i can tap clear will mark them as stitched. So what you can see now is those stitches have coloured in, uh, in the colour that they are in the chart. So if I have been working on this chart and I've been working on it cross country already and I want to mark off work that I've done previously, there are a number of options to do that as well if I've already completed large areas of colour. So we'll take this square for example. If I've previously already stitched all of the A's in this square or I've just stitched them and I want to uh, mark them all as done in one go, I can do a long press on that square and you see we've got a pop up now. So I can select all of the unfinished highlighted stitches, i.e. all the ones I've searched for in that square. And again, I can do the same thing on the page. So if I select all the ones in the square, they're ready selected for me. And I can tap the checkbox and they are all marked as done. So if I do the same thing again and then select all the unfinished highlighted stitches on the page, all of that page is then marked up 
and I can tap the checkbox and they're all marked as done. So this behaviour is slightly different if I haven't got anything searched. So if I just unsearch that symbol and imagine I've been working page by page, I've imported my chart and I want to mark off the whole page. I can do the same thing again, but without anything searched. I can just tap on the symbol and I'm going to select all of the unfinished stitches. See now it doesn't mention the highlighted ones, just any unfinished stitches. And it's picked up all of the ones that have been, uh, haven't been already stitched. And I can tap OK and that's filled in. And we'll do the same again and we can do the whole page. And when I tap OK, that's all filled in. And I'll just zoom out a little bit. And you can see we've now got that whole page filled in. Now, if I've done some of this in error, um, we'll just say, for example, I haven't quite finished this square yet. So I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to navigate to markup. I'm going to press and hold. I'm going to select all the finished stitches in the square. And you can see now we've got our little friend, the frog, so we can remove those stitches from being marked up. Again, I can do that individually. These stitches I haven't done yet, so I'm going to mark them as frogged. And again, actually, for the wrong chart, I haven't done this one at all. I'm going to clear them all. Now, in order to navigate back to your chart list, um, it uses the device's back button. So you may have a physical button on the frame of your chart, but if you haven't, you can you can pull down from the top or pull up from the bottom and you will get your navigation buttons coming up on the screen, as you can see here, which will take you back to your chart. You park your threads. It's possible to mark your stitches as part in Pattern Keeper as well. So when you're in the markup mode, if you just select a single stitch that you want to mark as parked, you can see there is a more button uh, just to the right of the checkbox. If I tap more, I then get the options to define where that thread is parked. Now, I always park in the bottom left hand corner. Um, obviously, it depends where you prefer to park. So if I select park thread in lower left corner, you can see that I now have a triangle on that stitch and that tells me based on where the bottom corner of the triangle is or the, the inside corner of the triangle is, uh, that's where the thread is parked. So if I just select another one over here and mark more, I'm going to park the thread in the upper right hand corner. We can now see the triangle is basically in the opposite direction. When I'm marking my stitches as done, I don't need to go and unpark that thread first. I can just colour in my stitches as usual. Mark them as done. The parking is uh, cleared and the thread is marked as stitched. If I've marked it as parked in error, I can tap on that symbol that has the park thread, tap more and change it to not parked.